forgive me if I've got too much funny things to say. So it's Father's Day. Today we're have a nice all the fathers. Ladies, let's give a cheer for all the fathers in the house. And an even bigger cheer for all the good fathers in the house. Some of them are pussy or still. But I didn't get shit from my two baby fathers. Fuck them. Also, this has been recorded, so can you not sh shout like heathens when I say, Happy birthday, Omar, mummy loves you. Yay! This is birthday music from Father's Day. So yeah, how's everybody been? Fine? Enjoying the sunshine today? If you've never seen me up here before, you'll know that my humour... What should we do? I know box food, didn't it? I know him, so yeah. So, what was I saying again? So yeah. If you know me, you know that my humour is all about things that have happened to me. Bad things. So I'm going to give you like this short story. Ladies, have you ever, like, had a link? I've got to say, some of you might have boyfriends and husbands and stuff. I don't really deal with that. I deal with other people's husbands and boyfriends. <laughs> there is no shame in my game. Yeah. Shout out for the big girls. Hey! No manga girl now get no heel or port on this. So anyway, like I was saying, so you got a link here and he calls you. I'm gonna tell you my story. It was on a night shift, I got a phone call saying, my wife's gonna go to work early. This is true. I'm gonna come and check you. So I rushed home from the night shift, got home, told my mum some life, I had to take the children to school for me, so they just get out of my house. Have my bath, shave my legs. You know, you're not a movie, but you know the thing, you know. <laughs> I was nice, went to the drawer. You know, there's a special drawer. There's an everyday drawer for knickers and bras, isn't it? A special drawer with the handcuffs and the toys in it. So I went to the. Who, who? Somebody said they don't know about that. You're not living. So I went to a special drawer and I decided to choose an outfit for the link that was coming to my house. Anyway, I thought I looked bad. We can put on music, change the bed. You know what the rigmarole we have to go through for the bed is there. Make sure that the first two toes are painted. So I got ready, and he beat, beat me, and he said, babes, I'm 10 minutes away. I was like, yeah. Anyway, he said, should you stop and get for a drink? I was like, no, just hurry up in it, because I have to go and pick up my son soon. Anyway, so the phone goes, and he says, I'm outside. Me come down the stairs now. Let me show you exactly how I came down the stairs. It's a small house. And I flung open the front door, and I said, hello, honey. And my dad said, what is going on? <laughs> Dumbo! <laughs> and then my mum said, what do you mean? <laughs> and that's how that day went really, because I think my dad is still traumatised by seeing his daughter in a chainmail outfit. <laughs> with a pair of handcuffs and a whip that was very traumatising. And another, give you another example of my traumatic life. A very long time ago, has anybody ever fallen asleep on a train? and ended up where they shouldn't have ended up. Yes, it's not just me, yeah? So I was going to Harrow on the hill, on the Metropolitan Line, and I fell asleep. And you know what, right? No offence, but... Oh shit, there's two of them looking right at me. There's another one over there. Sometimes white people don't like that. I'll help you out. I fell asleep with my headphones. Somebody couldn't nudge me in it. There was bare of them on the train, but they just left me to sleep. You know when I wake up where I was? Knees done dip on. And when me look, all I could see was empty tube trains this way, empty tube trains that way. I was so vexed. Do you know how long I was on that train? Do you know how cold the tube train is when it's just stuck in the depot? Mrs. I tell her nearly freeze to death up there. Some little African cleaner came in, I was banging on the glass, banging on the glass. 
You know tube train glass is tough, innit? I was banging, he took off my shoe, I was banging his little headbutt in the glass. And he came along and he stuck his head up and he was like, what are you doing in there? I said, I fell asleep, like, can you get me out of that? He was like, I don't believe you, why are you sleeping on the train's rough? The girl's head back is tough, I don't know about how rough. So the long and short of it was, they let me off. I didn't realise how high a tube train is as well. It's really, really high, you don't realise that. But yeah, that was one of my worst experiences. And I'll give you the last one, I know you lot will love this. Have we got any gym fanatics in the house? I've seen some of Stamina's friends, they're fine. When I said to my girls, Stamina's asked me to come down here. They were like, yeah, because he's got some fine friends. But they're all short. Sorry, but... And there's another one. The ability to knock out, so yeah. <laughs> Fine as hell, stand back them, shut. Anyway, yeah. So for the gym fanatics, I went to the gym, I said I want to tone up, Ella. So I went into the spinning class. Has anybody done a spinning class before? You're mad. So I went to the spinning class, I had a fag before I went, but I went to spinning class. And the woman said to me, you're going to stay at the front. I remember, it's the first time I'm doing a spinning class, but she put me at the front. All these skinny Caucasian ladies behind me. <laughs> Got on there, pedaling hard. They're all pedaling way quicker than me. But I'm trying to think. Sweat is dripping off my calves. My thighs are about to explode. And I'm... <sighs> yeah, like that. Anyway, spin, spin, spin. She goes up. You know how to do it in the classes. Come down. Up. Down. And I could start to feel the bike shake. Is this the last time we went up and I come down? Are you not really rude? You're laughing from left to the punchline. I said the wee gun this up. The white gun this up. Yeah, it was all very embarrassing. Right now I can't even go back to that gym. You lot have been great. Enjoy the rest of your evening.